kids. I wonder if you should ride the bicycle. Anthony Fantano, the internet's coolest, no, busiest music nerd. And it's album review time. The Cool Kids, When Fish Ride Bicycles. I've been getting a lot of requests for this one, and you know what, I was excited to do it too, because I can't believe it's been three years since I was introduced to these guys on the Bake Sale EP. It almost feels like yesterday when I was listening to Chuck English and Mikey Rock spit funny rhymes about cars and clothes over fat, chunky beats. That rumbled my stereo. But after Bake Sale dropped, to me, the cool kids kind of lost a lot of momentum. I know we got some mixtape action in between then and now, but the mixtapes weren't that impressive, and my expectations weren't that high to begin with because they were free mixtapes. And even though on this LP, the cool kids sound roughly the same, the more I listened, the more I kind of realized I'm not dealing with the same people I was in 2008. One thing I do love about this LP though, something that I think has remained intact and stayed awesome about the cool kids, uh, that's the beats. Chuck English's production is fantastic. It sounds so heavy, so crisp, it just has so much impact, and yet the sounds aren't overbearing. There's not a lot of stuff being thrown at me. They're very simple beats. They're loud, but sparse and just really focus on the bass, those heavy rhythms. They're just so giant and tasty and, and simple. It's like just jamming 10 pieces of bubble gum in your mouth all at once and, and chewing them up and then blowing a bubble four times bigger than your head. They have a sound that is creative, fun, and playful that you don't hear often in modern hip hop something that I feel like was, was lost a little bit after the 80s. Another thing about the cool kids that's on point for me, for the most part, are the hooks. Most of them are pretty monotone and repetitive mantras, but that doesn't stop them from being catchy. Bundle up, bundle up. But even the tracks that feature singing on the hooks, some some R&B influences aren't that bad either, like the song Boomin' or the track Swimsuits featuring Mayor Hawthorne. I think Summer Jam is really the only track on here that has a hook that borders on being a little too corny. But my major gripe with this LP, my problem, and, and it's a big problem, really keeps me from enjoying it. Uh, the rapping. The Cool Kids have never been the most lyrical duo in hip-hop. It's not really what they're known for, but to me, there was a lyrical side to them. There was more of a balance on the bake sale. Now they've kind of devolved into creating an album that is, is hip hop for people that don't even listen to the rapping. There's less wordplay on this album, and overall the lyrics are, are less impressive and less memorable. I, I really only came away with a couple lyrics that to me were kind of impressive. Kind of. I like the lyric, got endo, got outdo on Bundle Up, and I also like the lyric, I'm Park Place, you're Marvin Gardens. Mm. Outside of that, the lyrics just make really plain and obvious observations about fantasy situations involving girls, clothes, and cars, a few funny similes here and there. This thing is basically as mindlessly materialistic as a Rick Ross album, but it's somehow cool because it's marketed toward the indie crowd. Seriously, the only verses on this thing catching my attention are the verses from the features, specifically Ghostface Killa and Bun B from UGK. Because on here, the cool kids rapping just sounds so lazy, so uneventful, it, it doesn't hold my attention. I'm just not really tasting anything. But, but, but rapping and lyricism just, just isn't what makes this record, and the cool kids know that, because this LP focuses more on letting the instrumentals play out and repeating the hooks more than they really should be repeated, because they're just padding things out. There are a few spots here where there's more of a balance between the lyrics and, and the hooks and the instrumental. Like on GMC, that track a little bit reminds me of when I first came upon these guys, but there aren't enough moments like that to really keep me hooked on When Fish Ride. This is basically a rap album for people who don't want 
Tyler the Creator's Goblin to be the only rap album on their iPod. It's basically come to the cool kids producing beer commercial rap or Mountain Dew. It's a nice album to just kind of have on and, and do other things too. You know, soundtrack to a beach party, soundtrack to getting baked in a, in a Brooklyn apartment with 30 other people. If that's your thing, then by all means. But me personally, I'm kind of feeling a strong four on this album. Didn't like it. Could see other people liking it more than me, definitely, but this, this is not for me and a, and a real letdown. But what do you think of this thing? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, The Cool Kids, When Fish Ride Bicycles, Forever.